we kind of have, I like to describe it as like a pyramid of cattle. So at the top of our pyramid is our registered Brangus herd, and that kind of funnels down. There's about 30 registered cows in our herd. And then our commercial cow-calf herd, which is about 250 commercial mama cows and calves. And then under that, our stalkers. Um, we buy 20 to 40 stalkers a week to go with our home-raised calves and ship about a semi-load a month out to feedlots where we retain ownership and sell directly to the packer. So about nine years ago, there was six uh, farmers that did stalker cattle and we all got together and started talking that we could build a feed store to um, get our feed costs cheaper. And so we went in and built a facility and we started mixing feed for ourselves and then we opened it up uh, to the public and started selling to customers and we are about 15 to 20 percent of the business now. We run about 600 customers. You know, I've never really considered any other career choice. Um, and it's, it's really special to me to get to work with my dad and my husband every day and just kind of continue doing what um, the generations before me have put into place. So we got Payton, who's eight, and Paxton, six. Uh, they help out on the ranch with us every day that the weather's good enough for them. Um, Peyton can drive the semi at eight um, in the field hauling hay. Paxton can drive the tractor in the side by side to rake hay. And it's a lot of fun having two little mini mini me's running around. I feel like you know a lot of people like to get their kids a you know a backyard pet or something to help them learn those life skills. But what a blessing it is that this is our livelihood and. Um, like on Facebook and stuff, I would give preschool updates because we never sent the boys to a formal preschool. We just had them with us on the ranch as long as we could because we knew what, what we could teach them, um, whether it be the same thing they would have learned in preschool or not, but it was just the environment that we wanted them to be in. And we want to be sure to continue the legacy of Shereen Farms, I mean, forever. I mean, just what he's built and then what we've built the short time we've been married to to make that name bigger and more well known around here, um, it means a lot to us. We're proud to promote agriculture. Um, we enjoy having school age kids come out, field trips or church groups, or anybody that wants to learn about agriculture. We love hosting them. Um, we'll show them cattle, horses, cats, whatever the kids want to show them. But uh, we're really proud to be in agriculture and it gets a bad rap a lot. But if people are just willing to come out and listen and learn and see what we do, I think we could change their mind pretty easily. I'm just living the dream. Yeah, I think we're, we live the dream every day that we get to wake up and raise our family here at the ranch. <laughs>